Uh, these are going to be my video uh, measurements uh, for the Baycliffe job. I'll be taking these measurements as I have this video because it will be, I, I, can't, I have no place to write. Um, it's a big piece of paper. It's a blueprint plan. So I've memorized it for the most part, um, but I'm going to uh, say my dimensions here so that way we can put it on here on the on the plan. So I have got uh, three walls that are coming off of this side of the house out here and coming across this way to hold this up. Um, I've got nine feet of total drop from the driveway down to the corner over here. Woodland only allows apparently you to have three feet of total um, drop on walls. So um, we've got uh, I, I'm, I've measured out about 25 feet is approximately where it looks like it's supposed to be. Um, so, uh, let's say three 25 foot long walls. Um, toward the end here, I think it's just going to kind of step down. Um, but then uh, it also has, I'll use the word slab steps, some more like outcropping steps, kind of random. Um, they'll be made out of bluestone. And uh, uh, so they're not like the the premium bluestone or you know the regular bluestone that we use they're actually kind of jagged inside in, in nature so like I say outcropping pieces so um and I mean we've got nine feet here and if I assume that each of those are six inches thick that's going to be 18 of them um and they don't go straight they kind of meander you'll see that in the uh in the uh in the uh drawing that I've got here all right, so that's over here, um, and as we come around the corner here, in front of the, um, in front of these two walkout doors, we've got an area that's going to be, um, that's going to be irregular patio. Um, <clears throat> so it's going to be going from the corner here over to the other side of that door, um, and uh, we're going to say it's about 12 feet out. Um, it is to scale on there. Uh, I'll get a quick, just a quick dimension of what we've got here if I can. It's kind of muddy, which is another reason that I didn't bring it over here. So we've got 11, 17, 25 up here. Sorry about that. 25 and 8. So we're looking at uh, 33 feet. Um, from um, from side to side, and we'll say 12 feet out. Now there will need to be, because the grade does come this way, there will need to be some sort of wall that goes in here. So we need to um, we need to bid a 33 foot long. Let's call it a 30. Let's call it a 35 foot because it's going to kind of wrap around and it's going to go from grade kind of like a smiley face along here because I don't, you can't tell, but it kind of goes up and down. And they, they still have final grade work to do. Um, let's call this wall 12 inches um, because it's going to be going from bigger to small. Let's call it an 8-inch average wall coming from point A to point B. Now, this wall is going to be spaced away from the bluestone patio, so um, we're not wet setting it on top of it. Um, there will be space for plantings between the patio and the the wall itself. Um, so, um, and then as you can see right here where they've got foam, we're going to be building some walls uh, here. Uh, we've got two walls that are coming um, through here. Uh, one that starts obviously right there and one that's right there. Um, I know it's slanted pretty hardcore here. I'm not comfortable with having that much of a slope. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, that much of a slope. Let's call, uh, let's go with 32 and, what's this right here? Yeah, let's call it two 32 inch walls um, over here just to be on the safe side. And these are gonna come out um, a little ways here, but we've got steps on the outside of them. So if this is a 12 foot patio, we've got we'll call them four foot slab steps going up, but these aren't, once again, anytime I use the word slab steps, I'm, go, I'm referring to those outcropping steps. Uh, three to five inches. Um, this guy, the owner of this house is originally from New England and he wants a very New Englandy look. So nothing that's, you know, he doesn't want it to be a, a regular bluestone. So we need to, we'll need to go to the shop and then try and find what they've got available or, or um, origin to see what they've got. So anyway, uh, so we've got two walls that are coming out. They're just kind of coming out. We'll call it uh, eight feet, um, a little, and uh, just kind of stepping down to, to grade. So. Um, 
eight feet, 32 inches tall there, and they kind of just step down, so we're getting a natural, uh, natural flow coming through here. Um, we'll call this an eight foot, um, yeah, we'll call this an eight foot, hang on a second here, 32, 64, no, we'll call this a seven foot um, area here um, where there's grade change um, because we're going to have slopes in between, you know, a little bit at least. So, um, 72, 64, yeah, we'll call that. Uh, so we'll go with uh, seven feet of steps that we're putting in in this place. So once again, uh, seven feet uh, at, at six inches each, uh, we'll call 14 steps coming in up here. And then um, from this point over here, um, there's a wall that's coming, that's gonna be supporting the utilities. Uh, this is going to be a little taller wall, so we're going to call this, it's going to be three foot, three feet right here, and if it follows the grade as it is, it's going to be getting smaller and smaller, and it's going to get to about, uh, if it's going to be at that, we'll call that, uh, 14 inches, no, we'll call that 16 inches on the far side, um, from here up to there, and once again, I'll take this measurement, sorry if it makes noise and it's, it's a little jiggly, but... Um, like I said, this is my first time measuring these. We get motion sickness from watching this. Uh, we'll call it 20, 21 feet. And the return is. Seven feet. All right. Uh, once again, sorry about how jiggly this is. So, twenty-one by seven. All right. So then we come around this area over here, and we've got two walls that are going to be built. <laughs> kind of see how it's been dug out here on both sides over here. Uh, we are going to assume that those two, we've got two small um, concrete sections that are still in place there. We're going to assume that those will be gone. I asked him about that. Uh, right now it's supporting the deck, so um, they're kind of staying put for the time being. But we're going to be putting in two walls in here. These can't be over, once again, these can't be over three feet tall. So we're gonna build them to three feet tall for as long as they are, and then they'll end out here where they're supposed to be. So um, I'm gonna, once again, take these measurements real quick. Um, and so that way you don't get weird motion sickness. I'm just gonna try and set this right here and quickly take my measurements and call out the measurements. So right now, um, is on that side and that goes from three feet and I mean depending on where they bring it down to it's going to be you know what they're going to have to go beyond that let's call it 32 feet because they're going to have to get it out to the grade um, so let's go with 32 feet um, going from three feet down to grade eventually but the good a good chunk of it is actually going to be at that three foot height until it gets down to grade we'll say uh that 20 feet of that is going to be at that three foot height before it starts to go down. Um, the side over here is not nearly as drastic. So we need, uh, and that'll be 35 feet. Seven. 21, 20, yeah, we'll call that 35 feet. And that's going to be at 3 feet, and that is going to be gradually going down to grade. It's, that's a much more consistent uh, grade drop um, in that area over there. So, 